How many molecules are in 6.0 grams of CO2? Report your answer with two significant figures. Do not include units in your answer. Report your answer in scientific notation with the format 1.1E2 or 1.1E-2. The answer is 8.2E22. Using that format. Question number two. What is the correct order for converting mass of a reactant to expected mass of a product using a balanced chemical equation? The answer is A. Mass of reactant to moles of reactant to moles of product to mass of product. Use molar mass to convert from mass to moles. Use the balanced chemical equation to convert from moles of reactant to moles of product. And then you use the molar mass to convert from moles of product to mass of product. Question three. Given the balanced chemical equation, two moles of HCl aqueous plus one mole of Na2CO3 aqueous yield two moles sodium chloride aqueous plus one mole of water plus one mole of carbon dioxide gas, which conversion can be generated from the equation? The answer is A. You have one mole of sodium carbonate, two moles of sodium chloride aqueous. Question 4. When 10.5 moles of C2H6 react with excess oxygen according to the equation below, how many moles of H2O are expected to form? You have the reaction is 2 moles of C2H6 solid plus 7 moles of O2 gas yield 4 moles of CO2 gas plus 6 moles of H2O gas. Report your answer with three significant figures. Do not include units in your answer. The answer is 31.5 moles of H2O. Question 5. If 411 grams of methanol, CH3OH, reacts with excess oxygen according to the equation below, how many grams of H2O are expected to form? The molar mass of CH3OH is 32.04 grams per mole, and the molar mass of H2O is 18.02 grams per mole. Report your answer with three significant figures. Do not include units in your answer. The answer is 462 grams of H2O expected. Question number six. Select the two true statements about theoretical yields. The answers are B. Theoretical yield is the maximum amount of product that can be formed. And C, the theoretical yield is the amount of product expected from a given amount of reactant based on a balanced chemical equation. Question number seven. If a reaction with 36 grams of ethylene in the presence of excess water yields 37 grams of ethanol, what is the percent yield of the reaction? Report your answer with two significant figures. Do not include units or the percent sign in your answer. The answer is 63. 63%. Question number eight. Consider the following sandwich recipe. 
Two slices of bread plus three pieces of ham plus one piece of cheese yield one ham sandwich. If an individual has 11 slices of bread, nine pieces of ham, and 10 pieces of cheese, how many complete sandwiches can be made according to the recipe? Report your answer as a whole number. Do not include units in your answer. The answer is three sandwiches. Ham is the limiting reactant. Question number nine. What mass of H2O can be produced from the reaction of 2.6 grams of H2 with 2.8 grams of O2? Report your answer with three significant digits or figures. Do not include units in your answer. The answer is three point one five grams of H two O. Question number ten classify each process as either exothermic or endothermic. Process one dry ice sublimating into carbon dioxide gas. Dry ice is the system. Scenario two, water condensing onto grass in the morning. Do, water is the system. Chemical reaction with an enthalpy, change in enthalpy, equal to minus 234 kilojoules. Chemical reaction is the system. Scenario four, frozen vegetables thawing on a kitchen counter. The frozen vegetables are the system. The system is your reference. Scenario one, the reaction is endothermic. Scenario two, water condensing onto grass is exothermic. Scenario three, the negative enthalpy change in enthalpy value is also exothermic. Scenario four, frozen vegetables thawing, that is endothermic. Question number 11. Consider the following balanced chemical equation. How much energy is released when 8.5 moles of O2 reacts with excess CH4 gas? Include a positive or minus sign or negative sign in your answer. For transfer three significant digits or figures, do not include units in your answer. The answer is negative or minus 905 kcals. Do not include the unit. Question 12. Identify the components based on the curve. Scroll down to see the complete figure. That's an instruction you would need on the actual exam. The activation energy for the conversion of products to reactants. Two, enthalpy of the reaction from reactants to products. Three, is the reaction from products to reactants endothermic or exothermic? The first question. The answer is C. Products to reactants. So going this direction. C. 
see. 2. The enthalpy of the reaction from reactants to products. That is D. 2. Reactants to products. D. It's the reaction from products to reactants. Endothermic or exothermic. Reactants are higher in energy than products. The reaction is endothermic. Question number 13. Consider the figure below and answer the following questions. Which reaction will occur at the fastest rate? Which reaction will occur at the slowest rate? And the rate of reaction B would blank, increase, decrease, stay the same if a catalyst were added. The answers for blank number 1. The reaction that would occur the fastest is C, the lowest activation energy. Two, which reaction will occur at the slowest rate? B is the highest activation energy. And last, the rate of reaction B would increase. if a catalyst were added. Question number 14. Which phrase describes what happens to a reaction when the reaction reaches equilibrium? The answer is A. The rate of the forward and reverse reactions are equal. Question number 15. Which reaction will have the greatest amount of product at equilibrium? The answer is B, CH4 gas plus H2O gas will react with, to form CO, CO gas and 3 moles of H2 gas. The equilibrium constant is 10 to the 24th. That's much larger than the other two possibilities. Question number 16. For the reaction H2 gas plus I2 gas are in equilibrium with 2 moles of HI gas, the equilibrium concentrations are HI is equal to 0 0.50 molar, H2 is equal to 0 0.25 molar, I2 is equal to 0 0.25 molar. What is the equilibrium constant? The answer is C, 4, 4.0. Question number 17. Consider the endothermic reaction. Three moles of O2 gas are in equilibrium with two moles of O3 gas. If O3 is removed from the reaction, the equilibrium shifts blank. Left, right, no change. If O2 is added to the reaction, the equilibrium shifts blank. Left, right, no change. Three, if the pressure is decreased, the equilibrium shifts blank, left, right, no change. Four, if the temperature is increased, the equilibrium shifts blank, left, right, no change. Blank number one, the equilibrium will shift right when O3 is removed. Blank number two, if O2 is added, the equilibrium will also shift right. Blank number three, if the pressure is decreased, the equilibrium shifts left. To make more gas, three moles is on the left side. 
blank four. If the temperature is increased, the temperature shifts right. The reaction is endothermic. Told that in the question, that means heat has to go in. E heat would be like adding a reactant. So the reaction will shift to the right to alleviate that stress.